JJ the CPA here, hope you're doing well. This just in, hot off the press, Dear Western, I am a tax practitioner and I have a relationship with a financial advisor and they have been referring me business the last two years. What can I do as a thank you? Currently, I'm providing free general tax advice and doing second reviews for their clients on their tax returns. Well, first of all, great question. We run into this a lot. I'm a certified public accountant, have my own practice the last 27 years, and I've got these same similar relationships. So first of all, you're doing great by providing that general free advice, if you will. One of the things that I've done over the years is I will bring in lunch for their team. And not just bringing in lunch and leaving, but sitting with them and then using that time to actually ask what are some of the tax questions they're getting from their clients and what would be some leading questions that their clients are asking that would then allow them to easily refer that client to you, but better yet, for you to ensure that that client is either staying with them or referred back to them. So using that time with your free tax advice to then really hear the questions that they have so you're really providing the answers that they want. Now, one of the things that I learned many, many years ago from my grandfather, he was a CPA as well, and he told me this, be very, very careful when you're doing a second review of somebody's tax return. Because as a tax professional under Circular 230 or the AICPA Code of Professional Conduct, once we provide a service, even if we're not paid for it, we have put ourselves in a position of being an advisor and we can be held liable for any of our review, anything that was missed. So we know when we're looking at the face of a return, we only know what those numbers are that were on there. We don't know the facts and the circumstances. So I would caution you, as generous as that is and as wonderful as it sounds, I would caution you to do those independent reviews. But here's what I would do instead offer to go to that financial advisor's office and sit with that financial advisor and that client. And instead of doing a review of the tax return, more ask this, and this is what my grandfather told me, ask them, what are your concerns? Why do you want a second review and address those issues versus putting yourself at risk? So if you've got questions that you'd like answers from, from Western, email them to dearwestern at westerncpe.com. And that's D-E-A-R, western at westerncpe.com.